Today's lesson is Eat a Rainbow, and it'll be followed by an activity with Dylan that you can follow along with. The materials you will need for our activity are some colored pencils or markers or crayons, the rainbow cards worksheet, and the human diagram worksheet. But before we do our activity, we're going to learn new vocabulary that will help us to understand what makes our bodies healthy. We will learn about why diversity is important. And we will brainstorm ways to get more color in our diets. Let's start with the vocab. As we go through these words, make sure to write them down in your garden journal so you can remember them for later. Diversity means the presence of differences. This could be differences of anything. Differences of colors in your food, differences between you and your classmates, anything really. Next is nutrition. Nutrition is the study of food and what it does in your body. Nutrition includes all of the stuff that is in your food, like vitamins, proteins, fats, and more. Understanding nutrition is important to living a healthy life. Understanding nutrition is important to living a healthy life. Our last vocab word is a big one, phytonutrients. Make sure to write it down and spell it correctly. To understand this word, let's break it down. Phyto means coming from a plant, and nutrients are the parts of our food that help to make us strong. Phytonutrients are nutrients that are produced by plants that support human health. Phytonutrients, in addition to vitamins and minerals, work together to help keep us healthy, to maintain a healthy weight, and to fight off diseases and bacteria. Now it's time to hear how each color can help make us strong. The first color in our rainbow is red. Phytonutrients found in red foods help us to keep a healthy heart and skin. What about orange foods? Orange foods make sure that our eyes see well, our skin is healthy, and our heart pumps strong. Yellow foods, brown foods, and white foods give a lot of the same benefits. All three of those make sure that our heart is strong, and they help to lower our cholesterol. Low cholesterol is good for making sure you live a long life. Green can be found in lots of different veggies. And green foods contain phytonutrients that keep your intestines healthy, your bones healthy, and make sure your brain is staying sharp. The last two colors in our rainbow are blue and purple. Both of those colors are rich in phytonutrients. If you eat lots of blue and purple foods, your brain will be healthy and your memory will be better than ever. Although different color foods give us different benefits, all fruits and veggies give us essential vitamins and minerals. They give us fiber to keep our gut and intestines strong and clear, and they give us energy for our bodies. Did you know that 4,000 different phytonutrients exist? So what do you think? Is it important to eat all the different colors of the rainbow? And what about this meal? Do you think it would be a good way to get lots of phytonutrients in your body? Now that we know what all the different colors do to benefit our bodies, let's head over to the garden with Dylan to do our activity. Hello everybody, Dylan Jones here with One Cool Earth and today I'm joining you in San Benito's wonderful school garden. Today I'm going to be taking you through the Eat a Rainbow activity. It's a fun mix of tracking what you eat, a little bit of art, and um, learning how our different foods and different color foods help your body. So I'm going to be showing you the uh, different colors of fruits and vegetables, some examples, and then how we can color in our little person and uh, show how these different fruits and veggies can benefit our health. The first color I have is uh, red. And if you look back on your little cards, you'll see what the different benefits provide. But my examples today are some cherry tomatoes that we actually harvested from this school garden. 
And my next one is beets, a beautiful root vegetable that you can serve steamed, sauteed, all sorts of different ways. Okay, so we see here that um, the color red helps our heart and skin. And so I'm gonna grab my uh, red color crayon. And um, if you don't have a crayon, you know, pencil works fine, color pencils, markers, anything you have just to show that um, the benefit that this color provides to our body. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color all of this skin as best I can, red. Next color up is uh, deep yellow and orange. And today my example for orange is gonna be this uh, nice beautiful tangerine. And um, you can actually see an exam another example of orange growing right down there in the garden. A beautiful pumpkin, perfect for the season. Um, with our color orange, I'm gonna grab my orange crayon and this is a great time to also, you know, use your creative, your artistic skills. So I see here that it uh, benefits my eyes. And so I'm gonna take my orange crayon and I'm gonna color in the eyes. But if you don't have um, the right color, you can also just um, have some fun and color in you know, your best example of eyes. If you've seen me draw before, you know I'm not an artist, but um, I'm gonna add some nice big eyes to my, uh, my little person. Uh, now my next color is yellow, brown, and white. And today I have a few different examples. We have our uh, banana right here, and then some beautiful mushrooms that uh, you can eat. So I'm gonna take my yellow crayon, and I'm gonna color in the heart right here in the middle nice bright yellow. But um, since the heart's kind of small in this picture, I'm gonna also draw a nice big heart with my yellow crayon and uh, color it in the best I can. Again, if you have a uh, pencil or something like that, this is a great time to show off your artistic skills. Our uh, next color up is gonna be green. That's gonna be one of the uh, more common vegetable colors that you're probably more familiar with. So today we thought we would show you some something different, something a little unique. So we brought basil here, beautiful herb that really spices up your food. And then um, you can actually cut the tops off of beets and use the beet greens to eat. They're very good and good for you, of course. So I'm gonna grab my uh, green crayon and I'm gonna color in what, the, uh, what body part it benefits, and I see here under benefits, it can strengthen gut, bones, teeth, and memory. So I'm gonna color in my, uh, my bones with some nice green. And I'll color in the teeth as well. Nice green smile. And last but not least, we have the color blue and purple. And um, this is gonna benefit your brain the most, and today's example, we have um, this nice plum. But what we also have is a green bean that has some purple coloring to it. So you all let me know if you think this counts for either green or purple, maybe both. But um, like I mentioned, the purple is good for your brain. And so since you can't really see our person's brain in here, I'm gonna actually draw what I think, uh, what this benefits. And it says it benefits memory. And so I'm gonna draw a nice big thinking bubble and write brain in my purple crayon. So you might have noticed that um, under the body parts on your little cards, you can see that uh, the different colors sometimes benefit different parts of your body. So I'm gonna go back and use um, these various colors to uh, color in everything else that the colors benefits. So red also is good for your skin, but it's also good for your heart. So I'm gonna outline my heart, with a nice big red crayon. Um, next we have orange, which is good for our eyes as we know, but it's also good for our skin. So I'm gonna color in some of, some of the skin with orange. And it's good for the heart. So maybe I'll just add a nice little orange tint to the middle of my heart here. And lastly, we have green, which as we know is good for our bones. It's also good for our stomach. So I'll color in on my stomach right here. And um, it is also good for the brain. So I'm gonna underline brain because we know that's important in my nice big green. So remember to um, color in your little person with the different fruits and vegetables, the different colors that you eat throughout the week. And in your garden journal, you can keep track of the uh, different colors of fruits and vegetables that you eat and um, list the benefits that they provide. So thank you for joining me today in our activity and uh, happy eating.